Hi, I'm Mathiel and you're watching Shitdown TV. My name is Mathiel, uh, I'm French, I'm 20 and I'm with Next Agency. Okay, and how long have you been modeling for? Uh, like one year and a half. This is my fourth season and I'm now living in New York and everything is great. Okay, so where do you live in the city? Mm, I, I live in East Village. Yeah, I just moved. It's, I think it's the most amazing uh, area in New York. I uh, love it. There is like everything, restaurant, bar, coffee. So yeah, I love it. Yeah, how fun. Do you have any favorite places? Uh, like I like to shop. Yeah, always shopping or eating. And Greenwich. Yeah. Eating, yeah, I love uh, bread in Tribeca, you know, the Italian restaurant. And I love um, the French restaurant Chez Lucien. It's in East Village very good French food. <laughs> when I miss French food, I go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now uh, what are some of the campaigns that you've worked on? I did a DKNY campaign. Uh, I, worked, uh, I did a Vogue Nippon, Vogue China, I did a Teen Vogue, I have a picture in Vogue Paris. I did some, yeah, and I have stuff uh, coming out, so yeah. yeah. How exciting. Yeah. And um, who's one of your favorite models? My favorite model? I mean, it's very random, but I really love Kate Moss. I mean, I think she really like had an amazing career. I mean, she starts so young and she's still there. And I love her personal style. And she's really a businesswoman, so she really did amazing thing with Topshop, you know. So yeah, I love Kate Moss. And, okay, yeah. Cool. Um, and do you have any advice for girls that want to be uh, get into modeling? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of advice. Uh, yeah, you have to be like confident, like not too much, but you have to trust in yourself. Otherwise, client will not trust in yourself. So you have to be confident, and you have to be like um, professional, arrive on time. Everything is important. Be nice with everybody, and yeah, and just try to have fun. I mean, it's an important job, but you know, not too serious. Just have fun and enjoy the show. Enjoy when you do shooting. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We're at the makeup show NYC. I'm talking to Lori. She is with Smashbox Cosmetics. And tell me a little bit about um, some of the products that you guys have. Um, you know, Smashbox, because we're one of the studio brands, um, you know, based out of California, we have a lot of products that we like to feel that are like almost like tools that every artist can use in their kit. Um, one of the focuses this season is our contour kit. It's the um, ABCs and one, two, threes of how to highlight and contour, contour shade, bronzer, and highlight. It also comes with these handy little instructions for all the newbies out there for contouring and highlighting. And it's one of my favorite, favorite products. I almost can't do makeup without it. Let's start with our contour shade, which is our shade. One thing I love about a contour shade is it has no undertone, so it's just going to be like shading. And you're going to take your brush or angle brush and just place it in the hollows of the cheeks. And instantly, you have high cheekbones, which is awesome. Then we're going to take our middle shade, which is our bronzer shade, tap it off. Right, that right on the apples of the cheeks. And then last but not least, our highlight shade. Take that with the tip of the brush, and that goes really high on the cheekbones. It, the highlight shade can also be down on the center of the nose, on the chin, and on the cupid's bow, the lip. And it's great, so it's the easiest way to take about 10 or 15 pounds off of the face, which who doesn't want that? Um, yeah, no, I, I like that. Okay. <laughs> exactly, everyone wants to look yeah. slimmer and more chisel, which is yeah. fantastic. Awesome, so what other products um, do you have that are really hot right now? I mean, you know, Smashbox, we're known for a lot of, the, a lot of um, skin preps. We have our primer set, you know, we're one of the, we're one of the brands that are known most for our primers. Um, that are basically like, you know, they fill in the fine lines and they create that smooth surface for the face. We also have, you know, our blush kits, which are great. We're doing powder as well as cream blush because there's, you know, definitely one more than one way to get that kind of flush to the cheek. Sure. And what do you recommend? Do you like the powder? Do you like the cream base? I like to basically use them together. I start off with a little cream to really kind of give you that kind of subtle flush and just a little bit of powder to set, which is great. So you can do actually using both. So what is a beauty tip that you would recommend for our viewers? Um, you know what I, I love? I love every woman to know. It's like if you're going to invest in anything, 
Um, invest in really great foundation or really great skin because color looks so much better on perfected skin. So really spend your time and your money on getting really great you know, foundations. There's so many different technologies now with the advent of HDTV and digital photography. So really give foundations that are lightweight to the look but give you a lot of coverage. So really look for those types of things. Great. Well, thank you so much, Lori. Oh, you're so welcome, Lori. Thank you so much. We're talking with the design team over at Phoenix Cava, Sophie and Lisa. Uh, tell me a little bit about what we're going to see on the runway today. Um, the collection was inspired by the 90s, our memories of fashion that we were really into in junior high school and just elevated a little bit. So we were looking at a lot of old Vogue magazines in the library and really inspired by um, Giorgio Armani and Laya and old Donna Karen we kind of ran with that. We really just design clothes um, for ourselves, um, what we want and what our friends want and even even what our moms want. How do you guys know each other? Uh, we met at a bar. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> we, I was going to say you're really young <laughs> We have a childhood friend in common okay. and we were both about to go to New York to go to Parsons to go to college and we were like petrified and she introduced us and we had like a very awkward blind friend date and then became really good friends. Beauty.com and tell me a little bit about what we're seeing today at the FGI event. So we're talking about transformational beauty and coloring outside the lines, which is a very exciting topic for us because we've been online for the last 12 years and it's really interesting because there is no playbook for online and so it really is reinventing yourself every single quarter and we are able to be nimble, flexible and it's very exciting because we can innovate and do it really quickly. How has um, the consumer changed just within the last few years? Consumers are so much smarter because they are gaining, you know, information through um, social networking, word of mouth, friends, family, community is adding to what they already learned from magazines and media in general. And they're, they're really knowledgeable about what's out there. And so they're trying to make informed decisions. How has L'Oreal um, started changing and innovating their products and their lives? Well, what we're trying to do is bring the innovation that we had at the product level throughout the whole company, uh, specifically also in the area of uh, media and digital. Well, we're doing a lot of things. Uh, one of the things is uh, uh, that we've done very successfully is we partnered with uh, actually the number one vlogger. Her name is Michelle Fan. You might know her. Uh, who uh, is a celebrity online, really. And it's almost like the new beauty advisor uh, to the consumer who provides uh, how-to video tips to, on makeup. Huh? And, uh, she got on average 2 million views on all the videos that she endorsed. We partnered with them on Lancôme. Uh, so when you look at all the how-to videos on YouTube, 5 out of 10 are Michelle Fan videos where she's reaching one of our products. So that's one of the examples that, you know, is just telling us how it's completely changing how we talk to the consumer and, uh, and creating almost kind of new celebrities like a Michelle Fan. What are some of the, the trends that we're seeing nowadays? Um, we're seeing a big trend in makeup, in illumination and radiance, so it's no longer about looking really bronzy and tan, it's about loving the skin you're in and enhancing what you've got. So no matter what tone your skin is, it's about highlighting what you have rather than covering it up. Today I'm really going to focus on the, the idea of what is transformation in beauty. We see transformation happening in the world. I mean, remember when your cell phone just used to make um, calls, <laughs> but now it does everything for you, including directions and you can almost buy with it. Well, beauty is the same thing. A woman is not just looking to her beauty anymore to, you know, pick her up or give her that new shade of pink. Her beauty has to go further. And, and whether it's the innovation of the products, the clinical deliveries based on all the discoveries in medicine today, 
Well, whether it's the fact that we're in a global economy, in a global world, so we have access to trends from all over the world, or whether it's distribution. It's not just about going to a department store anymore. Just within the last few years, everything's changed so much. Everything has changed. In fact, somebody made a really great quote that said, never waste a good recession. And I really do think I was in the land of luxury and super luxury. And we all always thought the higher the price, the better. Consumers would never be tired of it, et cetera, et cetera. And we recognized that we had a huge aspirational consumer. And that aspirational consumer got hit quite hard, especially in the United States. And it made us become much more thoughtful in what we, how we approach the consumer, where she shops, and how we really emphasize value in the service that we give in stores today. Now, what are some products that I guess are really hot right now? I think that products that are multitasking are really hot. So in other words, foundations that have skincare ingredients in them. So formulations that have a bit of science and dermatology behind them are, are really popular. Okay, so how have you um, innovated just within the last few years? I mean, you're an online company, so what have so, you done to change? So we've really been focused on personalization. Uh, educational and, and editorial content is really important to us and so we've launched some innovative features like a skincare diagnostic where you can take a questionnaire based on skin type, skin condition, skin concern and it will give you a multi-branded and a branded regimen. So we found that it, that is one of the most highly converting features on our website. Do you have any new products coming out that we can look for? Sure, I think uh, one, of the most, one of the most exciting products that we launched uh, very recently is uh, called Inoa. It's, uh, you know, L'Oreal was founded as a, uh, with a hair color. The person who founded the company was a chemist who created the first hair color uh, almost 100 years ago. So the idea was to bring some really breakthrough innovation to the hair color category. And the product is called Inoa, which stands for Innovation No Ammonia. Uh, and it's completely taking the, the salons by storm. We are actually doing a brand new project with Sony and CBS where we're taking the Young and the Restless soap opera and we're taking the fictitious brand of Jabot Cosmetics and we're bringing it to life. So that actually we're going to create a parallel universe of something that's fiction, but it's also reality. And it's a whole new way to experience, market, sell, and distribute beauty. So let's talk about some new products. I'd uh, love to talk about yeah, new products. what do we have coming out? Oh, well, we have some fantastic new products. I'm Bobby Brown. We are really the foundation and concealer brand, and my business is flying right now because we have an innovative new concealer. I had martinis last night, you can't even notice it. Let's talk about some of your favorite products. What do you like and use and recommend? So we just launched Plant Scriptions by Origin, and it's a natural-based product that is very similar to retinol, and it makes your skin glow. So that's one of my favorite new launches um, of the year. Personally, I love Frederick Fakai Glossing Cream. I think it's a fantastic product. Um, I love Smashbox, new color collections, and then the Urban Decay Limited Edition palettes do extremely well for us. So it was, a, I think, a terrific panel. We had a, a lot of experience, varied backgrounds, and people had obviously a very strong point of view with what's going on in the beauty industry. And I think they did a great job of expressing that to the audience. The, uh, the industry is going through a lot of changes, and we need to be nurturing that kind of environment where people can feel comfortable making changes, and hopefully listening to a, a group of Qualified experts talk about managing change in big companies and small companies. Maybe that provides some inspiration for other people that, in fact, it can be, it can be done. We're at the Makeup Show NYC talking to Dominic from Stella. And tell hi. me about, hi, some of the products that um, you're going to be demonstrating on me. Okay, well, we have some really amazing product launches that we have for the summer. One being our new foundation. Um, it's the newest technology in high definition makeup. Um, now what this is, is a clear primer serum with a moisturizer and a foundation pigment. What we do at Stila is we try to, you know, make the artists happy, but we also have to remember that we're a consumer brand as well. So we created a high definition product that was great for the consumer and that worked well on set for the artist. Now um, it is made with a 15 mineral complex that's ionically charged to read and react to your skin. So what that means is that if you have oily skin, it's gonna control oil. If you have dry skin, it will hydrate. And if you have acneic skin, it'll help heal. Um, and then it also is very moisturizing, um, just looks really beautiful, like skin on your face, and it's just gorgeous. So that is the newest in our foundation. 
But what we are most excited about this summer, and I actually want to put some of this on you, is our new waterproof sparkle eyeliner. It's the first ever in the industry for a um, sparkle eyeliner to be completely waterproof. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, it comes in eight different shades. And you can just see the color. It's like a really beautiful aqua. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And then if you don't mind. Yeah, no, do you want me to sit down? Yeah. Okay, close your eyes. It's gonna pop a little bit along the lash line. It's so easy to apply. It glides right on. And it comes in many different shades. Let me get the other side. And the great thing about this is that you could also use it as an eyeshadow if you wanted to. So you have a lot of um, ways to use it with the brush. Beautiful. Another really cool product that we have is the One Step Bronze. Um, now what's cool about this product is that it combines three different bronzers to create the perfect bronze on your skin. And it also has a hydrating serum in it. So you pump a little bit on your hand or, you know, and then kind of work it in and then you can kind of then tap it on your skin just like this. It gives you a little bit of shimmer. Do you want me to try some on you? Great, yeah. You just kind of, you, you can either apply it all over for the perfect bronze or you can use it as a highlighter over your foundation. Okay. Or you can use it underneath your foundation, which I like to do for that kind of like lit within skin. Sure. Perfect for summer too. Absolutely. It's the bronze without any sun damage. The inspiration was really about American classics, but brought up and really modernized and um, in the way that a young girl would want to wear them today. I adore Tibby. It's just such cute, very girly, fun clothes. A lot, a lot of times, like, I love it for spring, summer. It's just, like, the colors are great, and it's affordable. Tibby's great because it sort of fits every woman's personality. They have a lot of sporty stuff. She has a lot of... Um, flowy things, and for me, I like really flowy on top and tight on bottom. Can you tell us about the kind of girl that wears your clothes? What kind of girl is she? Um, we kind of describe her as a tomboy, a pretty tomboy, someone who really likes to feel feminine and pretty, but not in any kind of frilly or um, over-the-top sexy sort of way. As a female, I'm always craving something new in my closet, and, um, and so that just kind of forces me to always be thinking of the next thing that I want to wear. For the day wear, like the coats are really important this season, just very long and lean silhouettes, which is different, I think, than last season. It was about a shorter, boxier, fuller coat, and now it's really long with just amazing fabrics. And I think when you get, when the styles do get more clean and minimal, then it's more important than ever to have really beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Um, so for day, I love, love, love this coat. And then this is what I was saying for nighttime, it just goes, kind of extreme on the other end and it's very over the top and textural and structural and embellished and amazing. Hi, I'm Juliana and you're watching Chic.TV.
Now, how did you get scouted? You were just walking down the street? Actually, my sister's Facebook. Really? Yeah, so we thought it was really creepy at first. But, yeah. So, I think it's really good. I was speaking with your mother that you are only doing shows when they don't interrupt school. Mm -hmm. Only if it's like a really big show, I'll like miss school. How does it work with, with your friends at school? I mean, do they know that you're here, and how, how does that affect your friendships? A lot of people know that I model. Not everyone's really supportive about it, but my really close friends are really excited for me. And they're always like, good luck, and everything, so. And what do you like to do outside of school for fun? What do you do on the weekends with your friends? I just hang out, do whatever. <laughs> Go to people's houses, movies, anything. And what's one thing in your closet that you can't live without? I didn't really know the brand very, very well, mm -hmm. and it surprised me. preguntas y <laughs> en español uh, por tú con la fashion show. Um, oh, what? <laughs> am I speaking Spanish? No. We're here at the makeup show in YC talking with Shauna from Naked Cosmetics and tell me a little bit about um, the products. Sure, we're 100% pigment. So you can use any of these colors um, straight as a shadow, which it makes such a beautiful eyeshadow. And it's because there's no wax, there's no talc, and there's no oil. Uh -huh. So a beautiful eyeshadow. But you can also, by just mixing it with water, make it into an eyeliner um, by just getting it wet. And you'll notice that when you get it wet, it just intensifies that pigment. So eyeliner. You can also mix it with uh, lip gloss uh, by taking a clear lip gloss and mixing that together. So basically whatever medium you put it with is what it will become. And that's basically what Naked is, and that's why we're called Naked, is because we don't put the wax, silk, or oil, so you're not limited. Um, and we're sold as collections, so you'll see them. Um, there are six individual colors sold as a collection. Okay. Cool. So what's your what's the most popular collection for um, summer you think? For summer, well, this is our number one selling collection. It's called Sierra Nevada. Um, and we're almost we're almost sold out of that. And it's because it kind of goes the whole gamut. You have the light to the dark, so a nice beautiful black eyeliner. This is a beautiful lip, and these are perfect for summer. Nice smoky golden eye. Okay, and now uh, what is the beauty tip that you would have? A beauty tip. Oh, that's a good one. Um, don't be afraid to use color. A lot of people are afraid to use color, and here at Naked, we love it. <laughs> okay, and now what's the, the key to using color and not overdoing it? Blending. <laughs> blending, that's a huge thing. Most important is having a good blending brush, but um, if, you, if you blend, you can wear any color. Anyone can wear any color. It's just people sometimes are too afraid. And so the more you blend, the better, the smoother it looks. It, becomes more of a part of your face and not so much like, oh look, she's wearing green eyeshadow, you know what I mean? Um, and that's what we love Naked for. The only thing about Naked is because we are that 100% pigment, you can so easily over blend pigment. And so that is one of the biggest things that people, you know, are like, oh no, my, where'd my color go? So you have to be careful with that and always use a primer. Yeah, we're, we're just going, back, going to back up to Lincoln Center. And I think we're going to, I think Pam said the Luca Luca show. We're talking with.
with Raul Melgoza and he is the designer for Luca Luca. Tell me about the collection that we're going to see. Yes, yeah, so this collection was inspired by a woman's journey through the woods. So basically it started off a little bit of an equestrian inspired, the tailoring, a little uh, bit of a men's vest, cummerbund in one uh, riding hat, but of course not getting too literal and then twisting it and adding a lot of femininity to that. So my story goes as she's going in her horse into the woods, she eventually gets off and starts running, so she becomes less layered, almost stripping away into these beautiful lace, sheer uh, garments. Definitely a strong, confident woman always. A woman who takes care of herself, a woman who who travels but also you know earns her own money. So there's very a lot of confidence in, in the clothes because I know they're real clothes and that they have to be worn by a real women. Leanne is known for structure. She's known for working a lot of different architectural ar architectural elements into her design. So we chose to um, show that off in the eyes. We went with really simple shadows, but we showed off the architecture with eyeliner. So we really made it an eyeliner-driven look. We popped the color on the lid and we let it fade into the brow. We did a high blush so that it could really be about the colors and the eyeliner. We did a double-winged eyeliner. So we pulled it and we just framed the whole eye with eyeliner. We pulled up one wing on the top. We pulled up another wing on the bottom and we pulled a wing down in the inner corner. What that does is it opens up the entire eye and when she blinks, close your eyes one second, see how bright the lid is for the surprise of color and then it ombres up to the brow. We take away the lip, we mute the lip and we put a tiny bit of color right in the pucker so that it's sort of bleeding in from the center of the mouth to give her a nice pop um, flash of color and the blush is just carried right down, nice high blush to show off her features, show off her face and really give, you know, the, the pop of bright color for the spring season. One thing that, in my opinion, and I think it should be true with everybody, flawless skin is never out of style. And one of the best ways to get that, I always find, is airbrushing. You can, hands down, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's worth it for the artist to learn airbrush. The artist or the consumer, there's a lot of great consumer products now where people can learn to airbrush. It's a perfect, flawless face. You can get it every single time. The, the first time that you try anything, it can be a little bit difficult, but if you if you give something a time or two, give it give it a whirl, it's pretty easy. And there's, there's a, the, one of my favorite companies, Luminous, has made an airbrush that you can really, um, it's really easy to use on your own. They come with small containers, so you don't have to use an enormous amount of product, and you can really practice on your own face, turn it out, you can blush, you can contour, you can do a flawless face, simply, easily, it's stunning. Where are we going now, guys? We're going to Lincoln um, Center. Yeah, we're going back to Lincoln Center for Rebecca Taylor. Um, there's so many things about Rebecca Taylor that I like. I think um, mainly it's just that her clothes are so feminine, but in a very still sexy and sensual way. I don't, a lot of times I think when you wear comfortable clothes, they are baggy or bulky and don't make you feel like a woman. And hers do, you know, both allow you to be girly and beautiful, but still feel sexy.